Hey guys, so I haven't shared, you know, the wins as I'm still doing quote unquote brain retraining with the Lord. It's been awesome. I've still been doing it daily. Goodness me, it's well over three months now. I'm not doing quite an hour. Well, I mostly have actually. Um, but I wanted to share some, some more about what God has done in my own life really quickly because there's so much. But one is that you know, I, I like to continue, I'll continue to say this, I think it's so important to understand it, is that when we start to know and walk with God in intimacy with him, he can start to reveal to us the lies that we've believed that we didn't even realize were there. And one of the things that I know God has been trying to teach me is that I still have had this feeling of inadequacy, I guess a fear of inadequacy, that I'm not enough and like that fear of failure and so especially right now like he's called me into a season of growth in this business that i um i still see it as a ministry it's just trying to help other people get set free by the power of the holy spirit which jesus says in isaiah 61 about how you know he heals the broken part hearted he proclaim we proclaim liberty to the captives he's opened the um door of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord like i really truly believe that lord has personally given that to me as um, a direction with him. So why am I saying that? Because as I start to take steps of faith, I'm starting to realize who the bigger you start to go, obviously the bigger load or pressure or burden you can start to feel if you're doing it in your own strength that you're feeling like, oh my gosh, what if I screw up? And I'm like, this is a lot bigger risk. That's why a lot of people like to stay small <laughs> and just stay in what's comfortable. But nope, <laughs> Lord is, the Lord's calling me to grow. And I've realized that there's just been this subconscious fear there of like looking at myself and this feeling like I'm a failure. And it's been so cool to walk this out with him because as I am again, really intentionally focusing on him, wiring in the truth of who I am in him, how much he loves me, who lives on the inside of me, my spiritual authority, you know, all of the truth that's just like coming alive in my heart, that's just birthing and growing and the fruit naturally emerging over time becomes much more obvious. I can start to see, oh my gosh, I've been afraid of failure. I didn't realize that was still there. And it's just becoming, you know, it's like, you know, bigger, the bigger you go, the more obvious the problems are. So that's been cool because I really feel like God has like really started to set me free. Like I'm not a failure. Like. He made me <laughs> like he didn't fail in making me and yeah i don't have to be perfect and i don't have to look at imperfections in me as my failing as my failure or that the times that i've been rejected in my life by people as if it's my fault or my failure and i'm not saying i'm trying to like absolve any responsibility from the the my own behavior but i am saying that i'm not going to live in an identity of a fear of failure anymore that god wants to do something He's going to work through me and I'm just going to get out of the way and let him and let him show me who I really am, how beautiful I am to him. We all are. How much he has put inside this God-given ability, not my own, but God-given ability. He formed me in my mother's womb. He formed you in your mother's womb. And so that's something that's been really, really, really big. And I mean, man, the peace that's come with it, the deeper, deeper level of peace that's come as I continue to expand and take what you, would, the world would call risks, <laughs> whether it's financially, time, lots of different ways. So that's something huge that God has uh, really, really shown me and been walking out with me in such a beautiful way. It's just like, God, like I wake up in the morning and I'm just like in awe of like, really? Like, this is who you are and this is what I get to walk in. Wow. So I hope that blesses you. Continue going, continue fighting. God is going to make a way. He always does when we don't stop and we continue to um, be willing to surrender over to truth over how we feel. Amen. God bless.